What's up, my real fam? I am back. It was a little cold out here today, but I want to come out and get some fresh air and do a little quick video for the moment. So, um, I get this question a lot regarding my um, abuse journey and all that jazz. Do I take medications for anxiety? No, I don't. I think that I should have been on medication a long time ago for my anxiety because, you know, it kept getting bad and there were times where it got worse than other times. So I thought that I could possibly attempt to get on medication, but no, I never wanted to. If you know one thing about me, I hate medication. I have always, 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 always hated pills. I hate taking man-made meds. I hate pills, needles, vaccines, all of it. I hate it. I don't want to take anything that's not natural. I don't want to take anything where I don't know what it's doing to my body. I don't want to take anything that alters my brain or my consciousness or anything of that ma matter. I just don't like it. I don't prefer that. So I have never taken um, any steroids or stimulants or anything. <laughs> and to be honest, I think I've done pretty well without them. It was cold out here. It's not supposed to get past 56 degrees. I feel it. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't taken it. Uh, I've never taken any medications. And I say I should have been on them because a lot of people say I should and perhaps it would have maybe helped me in the beginning like be stable enough to like go work and whatnot. But y'all, again, if you know me, that stuff doesn't matter to me. As long as I can function on a daily basis to where I'm not acting bipolar, I'm not abusing anyone, I'm not, you know, um, having severe panic attacks, clocking out, beating people up, all that other crazy stuff, as long as I'm not unstable, I believe I'm okay, you know? And I say unstable because all the things I just mentioned, yeah, if I was doing all those things, yeah, I have to be on medication. But y'all, I don't have those issues. Even if I do think I'm bipolar at a certain moment or whatnot, it's just for that moment or it never gets like really bad because that's just me. I don't I don't allow myself to see in my anger. I don't allow myself to sit around and abuse people. I don't allow myself to, you know, drift. You know, I'm home every day. I don't allow myself to become mentally unstable and that is the only reason why I have not needed medication all this time. I just haven't needed it. I don't believe I really needed it. People would tell me otherwise, oh it helped me stay stable. Okay well maybe you were more stable than I was or maybe in certain aspects because everybody has their own definition of what they consider stable. Everybody, Not everybody can function without meds and that's okay. I mean, do you. Do you. Always do you. But for me I generally don't think I need any. Um, I've never had any like disability checks or anything. I have had many times where I considered it. Um, I considered it just to, you know, help us out financially, but nope, I don't want to go that route either because what they're going to do, they're going to try to make me get on some type of medication and I don't want to do that. And then I'm going to probably have to lie about it. Like say I'm taking my meds and I'm not, you know, when I go get checkups, I'm going to have to take the pill and y'all, you know, I'm not, I'm not wanting to do all that. I don't want to take any pills that might alter my brain because if I decide to get off the pills, I'm going to have side effects and then my body might get used to it and then I might go back on it back and forth. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not turning myself into a druggie, y'all. I'm not doing it. I refuse. All of my answers are inside of me or around me somewhere. And that's just been helping me all this time. You know, I have my husband as my therapist because I don't, I ain't got no other therapist. Um, can't afford it. Um, and that's all. I mean, I don't, I don't need any, oh, kitty, the little buddy friend. I don't need any pills. And that's just what it is. People have asked me, people still ask me occasionally. I just don't think it's for me. I've been just fine without it. I'm not bipolar. I'm not over here acting crazy and not, you know, not being able to handle my kids. Yeah, I don't get a break, but I can handle, I can manage myself. Um, I'm not over here being crazy or nothing. I'm genuinely still a peaceful person, regardless of how I act. Yeah, everybody has their moods. 
course, everybody has their moods where they're gonna like snap more often than, than other times. That's just normal, you know, that's just life. I'm a mother of five kids, of course. I'm gonna be snappy some days. If it piss me off, yeah, it's gonna be sometimes more than others where I'm gonna be a little raw, you know. <laughs> but y'all ain't seen my raw moments. Nobody has, except my husband and kids. But, you know, hey, my, my raw moments are not the worst, you know, not to the point where I need medication at all. I will never let myself get that way. I refuse, you know. There are some things you can't control, and I can't control that. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Medication is not for me, so. <sighs> Unless something changes mentally, I'm not going to. But I truly don't believe I'm gonna let myself get there. I don't believe that it will happen. I just don't believe it. So i'm grateful y'all i'm happy i am thankful that i don't need medication i am grateful that i'm not in a mental health somewhere i am blessed that i'm not mentally incapable of living and i believe that's all i have to say i hope you guys are having a great day second hour month minute and beer thank you for watching <laughs> Stand out, starting to advance now, ready to expand now. You don't have a chance now, cause we're in demand now. Make it by the grand now, feeling in command.